Hey there, so today we have another review, and this is a new one, or relatively new. This was bottled about two months ago, so it's pretty fresh for me. And this is another version of Flamingo Fruit Fight. This is the uh, raspberry version. They did lemon lime. The original is passion fruit lime, I want to say. This is raspberry puree, blah, 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 5%. Yeah. Love the series. I uh, love the release of the regular base, and then I think I like the lemon lime as well. So, uh, beer comes in a really pretty, kind of like vibrant um, pinkish red, or even almost like a purplish kind of red. It's a really nice kind of um, ruby ish kind of color. Nice pink head on it. The smell in general just like light like Berliner, ba uh, Berliner base, mm -hmm. a little bit of raspberry underneath, or that like. Doughy character, a little bit of that tart, that kind of like acidity kind of like shows up too. Kind of kettle sour, kind of like just plain sour, pale wheat kind of thing. A mm. little bit of raspberry curry. Beautiful carbonation on this guy. Really nice and fluffy. Decently like um, meaty bubble head, so it like has a little bit of like prickle to it. creaminess to it. Uh, hmm. This one comes off just very meh. I feel like the dosing rate is just like half is what it should be. It almost tastes like it's like the brewers that make second use fruit beers. This tastes almost like third use or second use, somewhere around there. Uh, the second use sort of works for some brews because they're doing mixed fermentation. And so like, you know, they're adding fruit. Uh, in with their, I mean, H. O. Group aside from Justice King's a great example of that. That's super fruit jammy jammy. And then they produce another beer that's the second use, and it's like just as tasty, uh, but just different. You know, it's not as fruity. And get all that beautiful mixed fermentation character here. Here you have a really blank canvas with the uh, Berliner Bays, and then you obviously want something to bump it up a little bit. Uh, the Sydney is actually quite tame. It's got like this, it's not even sour. It's, uh, you know, we have a beer at work that we call Berry Tart. It's really a tart. Uh, not a beer, not a sour. Uh, that's what people are looking for, right? Honestly, this beer tastes a lot like uh, the beer we make. Just our beer is actually seven percent, and it has a little bit more sweetness to it. The um, I mean, it's a bigger beer, so it's a little bit more rounded. That's actually good now. With our beer again, it's not very fruity, not very sour. If anything, this beer is more bland than that. I want to say. Yeah. Um, disappointing. You know, the series, I, I feel, is very punchy. The passion fruit versions are very good. Lemon lime is tasty. This is just, like, very tame. Like, like if you told me this is a sour that, like, you know, we're talking macro, or craft macro, so, like, that goose island name. Yeah, sure. I understand. <laughs> uh, not those. So, um, let's go with a 70... Six? 76? I mean, it's tasty. This is fine beer, but there's nothing really interesting or very repeatable about it. You know, it tastes good. I'm going to finish it, but... Uh, raspberry Flamingo Fruit Fight. From Bells, let me know what you think about this. Let me know if you enjoyed the series. I'll tell you guys. Cheers later.